Good morning, good morning. Claire, do you want to come on up here too? All right, good morning, everybody. All right, so in today's Bible story, Jesus walks into a synagogue, and I think I went over that word last week. Do we remember what that is? It's kind of like the church that we're in today. And in that church, he saw a man with a withered hand. And the Pharisees were watching him closely because they wanted to see what he was going to do. They wanted to know if he was going to heal him on Sabbath. Jesus called to the man to get up and come forward. And he said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good or harm on Sabbath, to save a life or to kill? And he was met with silence. This led Jesus to be a little bit angry and upset with how hard their hearts were. He again told the man to stretch out his hand and his hand was healed. The Pharisees were so upset by this. They loved rules. They thought that if you obeyed the right rules, that you would be holy and pure. And they felt like he'd broken the rules of resting on Sabbath. Their hearts were so hard, and instead of following Jesus, they wanted to destroy him. But Jesus knew what was really important. On the outside, they looked like they were holy and pure, but on the inside, their hearts were ugly and stained with sin. To Jesus, withholding healing on Sabbath was cruel and spoke more of evil than of good. It's a very easy way to lose sight of what is essential. The Pharisees knew the word of God, yet they, um, yet they represented him as law-centered and stern. They thought more of the recipe than of the meal itself. So let us pray. This is a repeat after me. Heavenly Father, may you heal the things in our lives that we stretch out to you. Also, help us to follow the example of Jesus in loving and caring for others. In your name we pray. Amen. This morning, we're, we're thrilled to have with us Brandon 